Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from traditional Scottish ales, rounded down to TSA Brewing Company. A more of a kind of groovy look. That's what they've gone for. It's the India Pale Ale, a rambunctious IPA, coming in at a lowly 4% ABV. Blue cap on this one. For me, IPAs this day and age should very well be at least 5.5%, 6% at least. 4% is not cutting the mustard. But everything is worthy of a review. Everything. Be it in the glass. Golden in colour. Carbonation is zinging, kind of springing up the middle of the glass. It's a two finger head. It's white, it's foamy. It looks like an IPA. That looks like an IPA all day long, but just the ABV is not there. Let's see what the aroma is like. Mmm, it smells a little bit. It smells a bit farty to be honest. It smells a bit like a soiled nappy. Mmm. It smells like almost like they've, they've not cleaned the vessel out from their, their wild oat stout that they brew and they brewed this and it's picked up all right, all right the colour it's not picked it up in the colour but it seems to have picked up that kind of roasted malt like, like something's got stuck on the element or, or the, the brewing element only one way to Really give it a try and that's to taste it. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah. Very bland. Next to no flavour whatsoever. Very bland beer. To come out and call this a rambunctious or rambunctious IPA. It's saying bold, it's saying big, it's saying beautiful, wonderful, strong, hoppy. Look at the way it's kind of... Look at the way they've labelled it. They really have gone all out on this one and, and on the label, but... It, it's all like, it's, it's all mouth and no trousers almost. Um, again, I think... I do think, even in the taste, that, that I think something's got stuck on the element. The element's got burned. Basically, the, if, if you're new to brewing, you're new to, you're new to beer, the element, the, the boiling element, it's almost as if something, uh, something's got stuck on it and it's burned and, and they can't quite clean it off properly and, and it, it's affecting the, the taste of the beer. Um, that's, that, that's, that's what I'm getting anyway. I really wouldn't, I wouldn't buy this again. I wouldn't buy this again. It's a poor, poor showing. It's a poor example of an IPA. Somebody, and this is my biggest bug bear, somebody getting into beer, they pick up that and they go, ooh, I've heard all about these IPAs, everyone's buying them, everybody's talking about them, I'm going to give it a go. And they unluckily kind of stumble across this. This could very well throw them back in the arms of Captain Carling, and that's the last thing we want to do. So, um, by all means, try TSA Wild Oat Stout. It's a wonderful example of a stout. I love it. It's currently in Lidl's for £1.25. Also picked this up in Lidl's for £1.25. I don't like it. It's quite obvious. Rating.
for me, there's no hot presence in there at all. At all. It's like drinking strange coloured beer coloured carbonated water with a bit of kind of burnt malt on the elements from a previous brew it's just not cutting it it's not cutting it and oh, I'm afraid to say that I'm, I'm, I'm very kind of sorry for the people who, who are trying this for the first time as an IPA because it very well could throw them into the arms of Captain Carlsberg or whoever it is so um Back to the dark side. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this a two out of ten. Two out of ten for me, the Mule Guide. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to my craft beer reviews. And cheers.